Hi, and welcome to week three. I'm going to first go through some of the highlights of it, and then I'd like to get down and just go through the course and help you to make it easy. Let's start with Pegasus, the winged horse, and the highlight of the fall sky is this big square, sometimes called the fall baseball diamond. You'll see this in the star show that starts off the week. Then, we're going to go to a pretty good reading blog on celestial navigation, and I'm going to want you to read it. And then I'm going to want you to go to our class blog, and I'll explain it to you when I get to the page, but uh, I'm going to ask you to write 30 to 50 words on what you read, and what we'll, we can share. Probably the most fun thing this week is to make a sextant. And you can use a picture of a protractor, you can use a protractor, you can use a straw, and you can literally find the latitude. I think you'll like it. Then I'm going to ask you, as I'm showing a picture of my sextant here, to make me an eye jot. And tell me about your sextant, take about a minute, and we'll share it with each other. We'll move on to an interesting little slideshow where you learn how to actually navigate the night sky starting with Polaris and it's a big deal to be able to find it. You will be able to do that at the end of this slideshow. Now week three is a kind of a test, a, a final test because week four the final exam is building a, a slideshow. So to help review for the test in week three there's a Quizlet review and it goes back to the things in week three and some of the things before that. And if you review the Quizlet, you'll be just fine. The test will come right after that and just like the test you took in week two, you'll just answer it. You can take it as many times as you want and I'll count your highest grade. I'm going to, for the bonus challenge this week, invite you to come with me and we'll take a field tour and fly around and we'll go to the NASA Education Center in Second Life. And I think you'll love it. And then every week I'm going to ask you to look up and in our class blog record anything you saw and you're required every week to answer the comment or question in the class forum. Now let's get down and look at the course and look at some of the nuts and bolts of this. All right, here we are, and welcome to astronomy, and let's go down to week three. And the first thing we see here is how to find Polaris. I'll just start off on telling you Ursa Major is the Big Bear, and the, lar the brightest stars in Ursa Major we call the Big Dipper. If you go to the end of the Big Dipper, and take the stars out of the dipper, like you're pouring water out of it, and just follow a line. The line doesn't go exactly, but it's very close to Polaris. It's the only bright star in line with these two scoop stars. Whenever you're making a big dipper and little dipper, always make sure these two stars point toward Polaris. Polaris is the brightest and end star of the little dipper called Ursa Minor. And there's some uh, neat things about the star. I'll start with the week three overview and remind you that uh, as I just said on the slides if you just go through here one by one and click it off you'll come to your test and then you'll come to the challenges you of course don't have to do the challenges uh, you do need to uh, re make an answer for the discussion form and respond to somebody else but that's very easy let's go to the next one I'll go back button and come to the weekly star show Tonight's sky. This is October, and I showed you a picture of Pegasus in it. And the assignment, of course, is to add an interesting fact or event on the class forum for this week, and that's where you'll get your stuff for the class forum. I'm going to go back using the back arrow. The little Vokey uh, will not be there. This film will be there when you're looking at this uh, assessment. 
is to add a summary on celestial navigation. And where do you get it? Well, I showed it to you, but let's look right above it. And celestial navigation blog. And this is something that you're going to upload to your desktop. And you saw a picture of it in the slides. And then we'll go back and you'll do your assignment on it. The next thing we'll go to is the assignment for making your own sextant. Again, it's an upload, and I'll cancel it here, but I showed it to you on the slide. And you'll try to make your own sextant. Now, the way we're going to grade that is, I want you to go back to iJot. You've already used it uh, this month, and so it should be easy. And here's me holding up a, a protractor and uh, maybe a straw there. And I'm going to talk for a minute on iJot and uh, email it to me and we'll get it around and you'll talk about your sextant and anything anything good about it. Did you try it out? Uh, was it hard to make? Any problems? What do you know about sextants? It doesn't matter. Just talk about the uh, science of sextants. It'd be great. If the back arrow ever doesn't work, you can use your breadcrumb trail and just push the course, but it's working well tonight. All right, after the eye jot is the slide share of navigating the night sky. I, it says watch it, uh, preferably more than once, it's very short, and then record in your journal and tell me in your own words how to find Polaris. And this is on, it'll be in your journal, it'll also be in the test. I always encourage you to maximize these in slide share. That should go away in a minute. And you look at the big screen. And it's just a, a good little slideshow and you should like it. The next thing to look at is the review for the test which is going to be on Quizlet and you've been there and I'll tell you where to go to find your review. Just do everything, play the games and then come back and take your test. After that will be the test and Activity 2 Google Docs test and I'll just tell you where to go to get it and you go there and take it and take it as many times as you want keep trying to get it right the extra credit challenge this month as I've said is going with me to visit the NASA site in Second Life and I think you'd really like it there's a planetarium we can go to and it's just a ball of course there's worth extra credit to you now this one doesn't want to let me back so I go to astronomy and just come back down to week three. If I can get there. Here we are. All right. Finally, uh, challenge two for every week is go home, come out at night, look up, and record what you saw on our class blog. This is always the most extra credit you can get. And I encourage you to try it. With that said, Good star watching this week.